Hello friends, welcome to ProTalent and this is our 5 words per day, this week's first module. Okay, we are on 33rd session. So it has been a nice journey so far and I'm sure all these words are very useful to you for your competitive exams. If you are looking at competitive exam like MBA entrance, if you are looking at like engineering entrance, if you are looking at law entrance examinations or if you are looking at any other entrance examinations, I think these words will be very useful to you. So these are high frequency words for competitive examination. This is what we are looking at. And this is our, again say 33rd module. Let me start to talk about five words for the day. The words we are starting with is called stigma. Stigma, which means a mark of shame or discredit. Okay. So sometimes certain movies which are developed in such a manner that they try to make fun of certain stigma okay jaise aapne dekha hoga ek, ek recent movie aayi hai jiska naam hai badhai ho badhai ho naam ki movie ke andar theek hai at a particular age if someone is having babies theek hai then it is considered as a stigma uske upar mazak udane ke liye ye movie banayi hai theek hai this is called mark of shame or a discredit ek kalank lagana ek lanchan lagana this is how the word is okay in the scarlet's letter esther prime was required to wear a letter a on her clothes as a public stigma for her adultery okay adultery ke liye public stigma so adultery aapko pata hoga that section 497 of ipc ke mutabik adultery is no longer a criminal offense though it is considered to be a civil wrong but it is no longer a criminal you can say case so this is how stigma or usko par support nikla stigmatize stigmatize is to disgrace to label someone with a negative term or reputation like blot unke upar ya opprobrium bahut mazedar sa word hai opprobrium isse ke upar public disgrace thappa lagana ki inhone ye galat kaam kiya theek hai aajkal ye chalta hai na hashtag me too so this is also a kind of opprobrium For the people, stain, taint, blemish, ये सब वर्ड उसके साथ कनेक्टेड है सो दिस इज ऑफ दिग्मा इज नेक्स्ट वर्ड इज कॉल्ड स्टॉलिड स्टॉलिड का मतलब होता है अन इमोशनल और हैविंग लैक ऑफ सेंसिटिविटी ओके समन इज इन डिफरेंट समन इज अनकर्ड स्टॉइकल एपेथेटिक इन डिफरेंट है ना सुस्त है बहुत ज्यादा एनर्जी आवेग नहीं है आवेगहीन है ऐसे बंदे को बोलते हैं stolid okay the prisoners appeared stolid and unaffected by judge's harsh sentence judge ne harsh sentence diya uske baad bhi us bande ke upar koi expression nahi hai that is how the stolid is i hope this is very clear next word is called sublime sublime happiness bola jata hai so it is a grand it's lofty sublime ka matlab hota hai grand lofty aap option to dekhe मतलब जो सिमिलर वर्ड है वो तो देखे मैग्निफिसेंट ठीक है सुपर मैजेस्टिक नोबल ग्लोरियस ग्रांड रीगल ये सब वर्ड उसके साथ कनेक्टेड है कॉल सब लाइन बहुत ही मजेदार सा वर्ड है ठीक है द म्यूजिक वॉज सो सब लाइन दैट इट ट्रांसफॉर्म द रूड सराउंडिंग इन टू अ स्पेशल प्लेस एक स्पेशल प्लेस क्रिएट कर दिया विद दिस पर्टिकुलर म्यूजिक The music was so sublime that it transformed the rude surrounding into a special place. This is how the sublime word is used. अब उसके साथ word बनता है sublimate and subliminal. Sublimate, which means to elevate or to convert into something which is of higher worth. ठीक है? Ah, science के बच्चों को पता होगा that is heat of sublimation. ठीक है? Which means sublimation में क्या होता है? Ah, ah, solid is directly converted into a Guess state. Okay, so that's how the sublimate is, and subliminal is something which is existing outside conscious awareness. Okay, so this is called subliminal. Many times for competitive examinations, many students' ke saath ye panga hota hai that there are a lot of subjects which are subliminal, 
which means they are existing outside their conscious awareness theek hai so ye bilkul aapko pata hona chahiye and next word is called tacit aur tacit ke upar se word nikalta hai taciturn ye word hum dekh chuke hain tacit ka matlab done with the use of few words or without the use of any words so this is done in an implied manner kaise kiya hai bhaiya implied manner mein implied manner implicit undeclared unsaid unuttered this is how the word is okay tacit ka matlab hota hai nahi bol ke hai na mon rakh ke kuch bolna chinese language jo hoti hai bhaiya chinese language ki jo baatein hai they are basically symbolic language aur iske wajah se they are considered to be tacit in nature okay they are tacit in nature and because they generally speak with the you can say imagination so that is how the tacit is aur uske upar se word nikla taciturn alpabakshi mon rehne wala silent not talkative ye word dekha tha laconic reticent reticent is someone who is reserved in speech and laconic is someone who speaks less but mean more jo kam bolta hai par uska meaning zyada hota hai विटी होता है ठीक है ऐसे बंदे को बोलते हैं लेकोनिक ओके विटी इज अ लेकोनिक लेकोनिक पर्सन लाइक अ जेंटलमैन कॉल्ड अब्राहम लिंकन अब्राहम लिंकन के पास एक बार एक बहुत ही फेमस पार्टी में एक बहुत ब्यूटीफुल सी लेडी उनके पास आई और बोले दैट मिस्टर लिंकन आई हैव अ प्रपोजल फॉर यू आई प्रपोज यू टू मैरी विथ मी सो दैट अवर चिल्ड्रन विल हैव योर ब्रेन एंड माई ब्यूटी ऐसा करके उस लेडी ने उनको बोला कि भाई हम शादी कर लेते हैं ताकि आप हमारे जो बच्चे पैदा हो उनके अंदर आपका ब्रेन और मेरी ब्यूटी लग जाए सो लेकोनिक कैपेबिलिटी अब्राहम लिंकन में बहुत ज्यादा थी तो उन्होंने बहुत ही सिंपल सा आंसर दिया व्हाट इफ वाइस ए वर्सा अगर उल्टा हो गया मतलब आपका ब्रेन और मेरी ब्यूटी लग गई तो बच्चों की हालत तो खराब ऐसा करके उन्होंने कमेंट पढ़ाया ओके चलिए ग्रेट सो विद आई एम क्लोजिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर मॉड्यूल make sure that you give me antonyms okay this is your homework put that into comment section and do not miss out to share this particular video and more importantly if you have started doing it today agar aap naye naye abhi hamari channel ke sath jude hai to mera manna hai ki aap ye pura list complete kare jo session number 1 se chalu hua hai okay chaliye great thank you very much and all the best